ratio. Sarthak emptied a box of wooden tangram pieces onto the desk. He counted the number of each shape and compared his findings. He wanted to compare the number of quadrilaterals with the number of triangles. We use subtraction to compare the quantities. Number of quadrilaterals are 2 and the number of triangles are 5. If we subtract the two quantities, we get 5 minus 2, that is 3. This means the number of triangles is more than the number of quadrilaterals by 3. We can also compare these two quantities using division. We can say that the ratio of number of quadrilaterals to the number of triangles is 2 by 5. This means for every 5 triangles, there will be 2 quadrilaterals. If there are 10 triangles, then there will be 4 quadrilaterals. This means 2 sets of tangrams. Thus, ratio means comparison of 2 similar quantities by division. We denote this ratio symbol with this symbol. So, 2 by 5 is written as 2 is to 5 and read as 2 is to 5. In this lesson, we will study more about ratio, order of terms in a ratio, sharing in a given ratio. Ratio is represented using this symbol. For example, ratio of yellow flowers to red flowers is 3 is to 4. 3 yellow flowers and 4 red flowers. When we want to represent this ratio in the division form, we write 3 yellow flowers by 4 red flowers. So, these are just two different ways to write a ratio. A ratio has two terms. These two terms are not interchangeable. The ratio 3 is to 4 is different from 4 is to 3. For example, when we say for every 3 yellow flowers, there are 4 red flowers, we write the ratio as 3 is to 4. But when we interchange the order of the terms of ratio, for example, here, if it is 4 is to 3, then it would mean for every 4 yellow flowers, there are 3 red flowers, which is wrong and does not satisfy our situation. Ratio is classified into two types, part to part and part to total. Let us understand these two types using the next example. There are 5 blue players and 10 red players. The ratio of blue players to red players is 5 is to 10. The ratio of red players to blue players is 10 is to 5. The ratio of blue players to total number of players is 5 is to 15. The ratio of red players to total number of players is 10 is to 15. When we compare number of blue players to red players, we mean we are comparing the two parts of the whole number of players. When we compare the number of either blue or red players with the total number of players, this is part to whole comparison. The ratio 5 is to 10 can be simplified by dividing the numerator and denominator by 5, which gives us 1 upon 2. Similarly, we can simplify the ratio 10 is to 5 as 2 by 1. The ratio 5 is to 15 can further be brought down into its simplest form as 1 by 5. The simplest form of the ratio 10 is to 15 is 2 by 3. Thus, we see that a ratio can be brought down to its simplest form by dividing the numerator and the denominator with the highest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. Let us understand how we share things using ratio with the help of examples. Example 1. Deepthi and Mohan want to share rupees 35 
in the ratio 2 is to 3. How much do each get? The question means that the total amount of money is rupees 45. Deepti gets two parts of the whole amount and Mohan gets three parts of the whole amount. Let us represent the whole amount of money with this box. Now, Deepti gets two parts and Mohan gets three parts. So, we divide the box like this. Two parts Deepti and three parts Mohan. Now, we need to find out the amount for each of these parts. As we can see, there are a total of 5 parts and the total money is rupees 45. So, each part is rupees 9. We can clearly see from this model that Deepti gets rupees 18 in her share and Mohan gets rupees 27 in his share. We can also solve this problem like this. Since Deepti's share is to Mohan's share is 2 is to 3. The total share is 2 plus 3 equal to 5. This means Deepti's share is 2 parts out of the total part. That is 2 by 5. And Mohan's share is 3 parts out of total part. So, Deepti gets 2 fifth of the total amount. That is 2 fifth of rupees 45. This gives rupees 18 and Mohan gets 3 fifth of the total amount. That is 3 fifth of rupees 45. This gives rupees 27. Let us see another example. Shilpi and Rohit get some pocket money and share it in the ratio 3 is to 7. Rohit gets rupees 21. A. How much did they together get? As pocket money. B. How much money did Shilpi get? Let us make the box to understand the share of each person as we did in the previous example. Shilpi gets 3 parts and Rohit gets 7 parts. So we divide the box like this. 3 parts Shilpi and 7 parts Rohit. Now, we know that Rohit gets rupees 21. So, in Rohit's share, each part would be rupees 3. And so, in Shilpi's share, each part would be rupees 3. Since Shilpi gets 3 parts and each part has 3 rupees, so Shilpi gets rupees 9. Thus, all together they get rupees 9 plus rupees 21 equal to rupees 30. We can also solve this problem like this. When Rohit gets rupees 7, Shilpi gets rupees 3. When Rohit gets rupees 1, Shilpi will get rupees 3 divided by 7. When Rohit gets rupees 21, Shilpi will get 3 divided by 7 into 21 is equal to rupees 9. Thus, all together, they get pocket money of rupees 30 and Shilpi gets rupees 9. 